Hello and welcome to the Corona Yoga Challenge and today is day 62 and this is our smallest jump up ever. Uh, however, we still remain second in the entire world for, for a number of deaths, so that's pretty impressive, isn't it? So, from here, can you make sure that you check my website to make sure that you're being safe and you can adapt poses as, as you need to when you see me doing what I'm doing and giving some advice so that you can look for any advice that's going to help you so that you can be getting even more out of what, what you do. Uh, and do subscribe if you want to get video updates in YouTube. So now we're going to bring ourselves into all fours to start with. So if you bring yourself to a comfortable all fours position, you're going to start by just sliding your hips from one side to the other side. So a nice smooth, easy movement over the back of the body. So it's a really nice way to ease the back out and to allow the back muscles to start to soften off a little bit. And then you're going to allow your hips to become more stable. You're going to allow your head to hang forward. And you're going to do take a little bit of space between your hands so that you can easily slide your head and your shoulders from one side to the other side. And you're trying to treat, keep your head as neutral as possible so that as you do this, the back of the neck can start to relax down. And it's actually one of these ones, the slower you go, the more you'll get out of it as you slowly ease between one muscle group and the other muscle group. And then you're going to bring yourself back to the centre. So we're going to do come back to kind of comfortable, neutral all fours for your hands. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a, a figure of eight movement for your hips. So take your hips over to one side, scoop them back, up to the other side, and back on that side. So you're just going to keep making that figure of eight movement for you to ease your hips out. So you're going to ease down through one side of the waist to extend the hips back and then down through the other. So we're working through the sides of the waist to do this and through the hips. And then take that figure of eight in the opposite direction. You might notice that one movement's a little bit easier than the other movement. You might also find that your figure weight goes back to your first way. These things are possible too. And then bring yourself back to nice and even. You're going to tuck your toes under. You're going to slide your hips forwards and back. Make sure that you've got a mat for this bit. So just pause me. Go get a mat if you've not got one already. And then slide your hands back towards your heels. Come up and into dog pose. So we get a real feeling of lightness. Uh, up through the legs and up through the tailbone. So just enjoy that feeling of lifting up and then gently ease down through the heels if it feels good. And then you're going to bring yourself forward so your knees come down and onto the floor and you're going to rest your head down. So head gets nice and heavy, shoulders soften, back of the body relaxed. We're going to come up to do a standing pose just now. So if you want to bring yourself to standing and I'm going to have to tip the screen a little bit so that you get enough to see the top of me. So what you're going to do is start in a comfortable standing position for you. You're going to take a big step forwards along your mat so that you've got both feet facing straight forward. So just check that back toes. Sometimes they'll need to come in a little bit to face the short edge of your mat again. You're going to let your hands come into your heart. Your shoulders are going to relax down. And you're going to lean yourself up and forwards. So as you lean up and forwards, it's really important we're starting to stretch, lengthen through this front leg. And then from here, you're going to ease yourself out and round so your face round towards the open side. And then you're going to come back towards facing your front, your front leg. Press down through the feet to bring yourself up. And then we're going to swap ourselves over so we come to the opposite side. I'm going to do it this way, otherwise you won't hear me. Hands are front coming down, shoulders release down and away. Lift yourself up and forwards, front leg stays long and stays straight, or straight-ish. And then ease yourself round and into the open space. So we're coming round and out, and then back towards the front. Step forwards to come back and up. So I said there about 
your legs being straight, but your legs being straightish. It's really, really, really dependent on where your body wants to move to. So for this pose, you might be up here. It's absolutely fine. You might have the knees soft. If ever your back is uncomfortable, the lower back, make sure that you've got the knees a little bit soft so we're not locking up the legs and taking it into the back. So we're going to do a little bit more with that if you would like to. So you're going to lean yourself up and forwards. So front leg strengthens and lengthens. And then ease yourself into the open space so you come towards. And then from here, if you want to, you can extend your hands out and get that feeling of space. And then bring your hands back towards your heart. Come round to face the short edge of your mat again. Press down through your feet to bring yourself up. And back to standing. And then we're going to do the opposite side. Leg steps forward, hands come in towards your heart, shoulders release down. Lean yourself up and forwards, get that feeling of long through the front leg. So even if your front knee is bent, that you're lengthening all the way forwards. And then you're going to let your hands come round. And then if it feels good, hands can come. And then bring your hands back in towards your heart. Come round facing the short edge of your mat. Down through the feet to bring yourself up. And back to standing. Back to settled and even feet. So back to the feeling that the weight settles slightly into the heels. As that happens, you get that little lift up and through and underneath the diaphragm. And the shoulders can soften down and just be neutral. We're going to come down to the floor now. So if you want to bring yourself so that you have got space out in front of you. So you're going to have a little bit of space so that you've got space for your legs to do a bit of moving from here. You're going to have your... Oops, sorry. <laughs> Computer insists on speaking to me. Um, you're going to have your knees a little bit bent up. And then from here, you're going to fold one leg underneath and you're going to keep it a little bit loose. We're going to come towards Kerfi's legs, but we're going to come to a soft version of it. So from this position with the leg just loosely underneath, it might be that it's out here, it might be that it's here. Just come to wherever your body's happy to move to, but come to a relaxed place for you. And then this top leg is going to have the option of sitting over the top. And again, you could maybe take both feet back in towards your hips, but today what we're going to work with is we're going to work with the feeling of making contact between the outside edge of your foot and the floor and extending gently into the ankle joint so it stays nice and open, so on both legs. And both hips are extending down, so we've got a really nice, steady, even base. You're going to let your hands come up and overhead. You're going to let your hands come down and onto your head and your elbows are going to become a little bit wide. And shoulders release down. And then extend your hands all the way up and out and down. And where you can't really see my hands, I'm going to move a little bit forward, see if that helps. So we're going to do the opposite side. So just notice which leg's over the top and across the legs. And then our leg is going to fold under. So folding under is usually the easiest thing to do first. And then this leg is going to step over, but remember we're going to keep with that feeling of nice and open through the inside of the ankle. So if you see the kind of alignment between the foot and the shin is neutral. It's not into this sort of position, a collapse joint. So nice and open there. So you, you this, this pose often requires a bit of adaption and you might want to be sitting on a block to make this all happen comfortably for you. You're going to take your hands up and overhead and then sink your hands down and onto your head again. Relax down through the shoulders and then all the way up and out and down. So your hands just settle onto the floor. I still didn't manage to get it so you could see my hands. <laughs> we're going to do a twist now so we're going to come back to that first side so undo your legs take the first leg underneath now the leg comes over the top we settle ourselves down so we're sitting nice and evenly and comfortably and then you're going to take one hand onto your, free, your front leg other hand's going to come onto the floor behind you you're going to get that lovely feeling of lifting up and easing over 
It's a nice smooth movement through the tummy, through the diaphragm, the rib cage, the shoulders, the neck, and maybe the head. And then bring yourself all the way back to the center. And we're going to swap over. So opposite leg is going to come underneath. It folds in a little bit towards you. Top leg comes up and over the over the top somewhere and then we settle down and into the hips. Hands going to rest onto your top leg on the same side and then just ease yourself round and into the open space. So that little lift up through the diaphragm, round through the rib cage, then shoulders, a little bit of movement if you're very, very gentle into the back of the neck and into the head. And then bring yourself back and to the centre. Take both legs out to the front, give them a little bit of a stretch towards you so toes are going to get nice drawing in towards you. I'm going to do a little bit of breathing now, so if you want to bring yourself to a comfortable sitting position. What we're going to do today is you're just going to feel that you can breathe into the palms of your hands. So from a sitting position, you can let your palms just be nice and open. And as you breathe in, you're going to get the feeling like the energy draws in. And as you breathe out, as if you're the, energetically, that your hands are just gently opening. So sometimes we actually do this with our hands. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to do that really, really simple version of just imagining the energy in your hands. So as if you're breathing in and out through the palms. You're just going to notice what sensations are in your palms as you breathe. And you're allowing your breathing to be nice and steady and even and whatever rhythm it needs to be for you just now. just going to let that go so you come back to your natural breathing for you. So my challenge for you today is to do something really silly that's that's nice for somebody else I should specify and and is quite unexpected. So it just could be a really really silly thing or it could be a nice silly thing and if you're looking for inspiration I can thoroughly sadly recommend TikTok Um, it's got all sorts of really really silly things you can do and if I was really well set up I'd love to do the one where somebody puts the shopping away and miraculously you have extra items and you hide behind the counter and pop the extra items up so that when they turn back round they're like oh I just put away the broccoli there's more broccoli but it's never going to happen I'm not that well organised or committed actually to be fair (laughs) But it's a great idea. It's fun. <laughs> Might be that you you just spend the day having a couple of thoughts of the fun things that you could do to make other people laugh. <laughs> okay, so your quote for the day. It's a quote from Buddha. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Do not dwell on the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate your mind on the present moment.